With the Yorubas, we are becoming a slave to our own ideology due to modernization, colonization, and civilization. Yes. Just in case you don't know, I'm currently in Benin Republic. And I'm currently in Benin Republic. And um, this country has opened my eyes to see how much damage colonization and civilization has done to us as a people. Yoruba language is a tonal language and we have just 16 tonal languages worldwide. Yoruba is the second fully tonal language after Chinese Mandarin. That tells you how much we should value what we have. We can think the Onyibus will pay us to learn about a language if we value ourselves. I want to dedicate a song for you. Olomi, Oni Temi, Oremi, Ololufe, Ojuko, Shaladani, Lalonawa, Kasantayawa, Olomi, Oni Temi, Oremi, Ololufe, Ojuko, Ladadurieni, Lalonawa, Kasantayawa. So beautiful, on the man's trailer, but she was so beautiful. Wow. <laughs> yes. So, let me welcome you. Welcome to this channel. My name is Joe Aditano. Like I said earlier, I'm currently in Benin Republic. And I've traveled to so many places within this country. And I've seen so many things. And I'm still looking forward to go up north. Just to show you uh, the differences and the similarities between us and this country. Uh, um, this country, Benin Republic, is a Francophone country and 15% uh, of its population speaks Yoruba. Now, their Yoruba is called Anogo. Uh, I think I better find someone that will explain uh, the difference between Anogo and Yoruba to us. But before I go, one thing I observe about their Yoruba is that the Yoruba is still in its original form. Like, I've heard words like Betesi, uh, which we don't say anymore in Nigeria. We don't use that word anymore. I went to the market um, a few days ago and one try a lot of me be kakuru lo no, also agulo no. The Yoruba is not mixed with either French nor English. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. The Yoruba, their sentences in Yoruba is completely anogo, or let me call it Yoruba, because we are saying the same thing. The only difference is the name. I mean, to me, but I'm still going to ask someone the difference between Anogo and Yoruba language. So, now, how do we revive this culture, the language, and other things that we've lost to westernization, or let me call it civilization? How do we revive this culture? This is one of the things I want us to talk in this video. Now, let me find someone that will explain the difference. David, Anogo, Ati Yes. So, David, do you speak English? Yes, most A little bit. 
Et
and this is one of the major problems I think we are facing as a people. We accept other people's ideology and call our own things local. I mean the illiterate local, not the true meaning of local. So um, if you are out there and you are from this tribe called Yoruba and you don't speak the language, in Kante Muni it is Sono, Gidigon, mean you are lost. You are slave to your own culture, to your own background and to your own heritage. So um, if you want to reconnect back to your root, there are four things that I think you should do. Number one is to learn about is number one is to learn the history of the Yorubas. And number two, there's something called Asha, which means culture. Learn the culture of the Yorubas. That that's the number two thing I think you should do. And number three is to wear Yoruba cloth. It says a lot. The way we dress, the names of the clothes we are wearing. It means so many things to the culture. And lastly, I think you should learn the language. It is very important for a Yoruba person to learn the language. Yoruba is a tonal language, like I said earlier. Um, Owo. Owo means broom. Owo means and. Owo means respect. So, and it goes and goes and goes and goes like that. Yes. So, I would like to know what you think about stuff like this. Should we continue discussing it? Or we should just go back to our old ways? And um, I see loads of people are now watching the channel from uh, uh, Brazil, uh, Cuba, and that is one of the major reasons why I am trying to stop uh, producing this content in Yoruba language so we can ourselves together with that common language which is English then we can discuss what is missing in our mother's language which is Yoruba uh, that will be all for today I remain Joe Adetono and please don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next time you are at Ayo it's in Udabo.